Hey there, good people. It's your Cripple Critic, and this week I'm going to talk about the game Mafia 3. So, Mafia 3 is an open world third person action game set in 1960s New Orleans. You play as Vietnam veteran Lincoln Clay, who was orphaned as a young kid and adopted by black mobsters. After he returned home from the war, he gets swept up in his family's life of crime and decides to go on a quest to build a new crime organization with his family to confront the Italian mob. The Mafia series was originally created by Tech Republic developers calling themselves 2K Tech. However, soon after the second game was created, the company had to close down, and California company Hangar 13 took over the series and began work on the third game. It was reported that the original members of 2K Tech did help out with the development of the third game, as some of the original team members had merged with Hangar 13. The creative director of Mafia 3 is a man named Hayden Blackman. He was originally a comic book writer, doing many Star Wars comics, as well as working on DC Comics' Batwoman. Hayden Blackman was also involved heavily in the creation of the Hangar 13 company. He was quoted saying that he wanted to make games that he enjoyed playing. When asked about the new setting for the series being in New Orleans, Hayden said that they wanted to move away from the stereotypical Italian mafia scene and represent a different side of gang-related crime scenarios. I've never played the first two Mafia games, and the third one being in this setting did stand out for me. It's definitely rare to see Mafia games set in this part of the country. The controls for Mafia 3 are very limited. Gamers with fine motor skill impairments will most certainly have a hard time playing. There are no remappable button options, and although there are two different presets you can choose from, there's not much difference between them. You can take a look at their button layout, but I guarantee you that disabled gamers will need to use the PS4's accessibility options and change the buttons using the system like I did. Just like other third person shooters that I've reviewed recently, Mafia 3 makes use of every single button on the PS4, including the touchpad. Now you'll mostly just be using a few buttons at a time during combat, like R2 to fire and L2 to aim, circle for melee, or X to get behind cover. The thing is, doing simple as simple as getting in a car completely changes the layout of the controller, which can be kind of frustrating if you're like me and you use the PS4 remappable controls. I was constantly going back to the PS4 accessibility menu just to do simple tasks in the game, which really broke up the action. One great thing they have in the gameplay option is the aim assist. Mafia 3 has aim assist with a sliding scale, and on its highest setting, it has great accuracy. Getting long distance enemies isn't always reliable, but it's got a really solid feature that lets you snap to the nearest enemy. Simplifying the combat made it a lot more fun for me. Gamers with visual impairments shouldn't have much trouble. The game is pretty bright even at night, but there is a brightness feature you can change if need be. As far as I can tell, colorblind players should have an okay time as well. The game has subtitles, and they are pretty consistent, so I would say gamers with hearing impairments should do fine. I figured it might be worth mentioning that the subtitles seemed a little small to me, so it might be hard for some gamers to see. The soundtrack is definitely mood setting and time period appropriate. You'll hear on the radio awesome artists like Jimi Hendrix and Jefferson Airplane. Still, none of the music is imperative to the gameplay or story, just nice background noise. If you've ever played a Grand Theft Auto game in your life, you'll be very familiar with how Mafia 3 works. You'll be dealing with a lot of assassination missions and heist missions, but also a surprising amount of everyday tasks that you don't normally see in a game like this. The game does a good job of showcasing how your actions affect the lower class neighborhoods that you are around so you can occasionally help the needy, not just the powerful. Though the gameplay in Mafia 3 is very similar to Grand Theft Auto, the melee in Mafia 3 is much more fluid. No crazy combos or anything, just tap the circle button when the enemy's health is low enough and it'll automatically start a finishing move. Brutal. Fun and easy and nice to watch too. Now the story for Mafia 3 is told through flashbacks, 
but done in a crime drama documentary type style. Nice cinematic cutscenes, courtroom videos, and first-hand accounts of the main character's trail of chaos over the years. It's clear that in this fictional story, Lincoln Clay has made a big impact on America's history. So Mafia 3 is rated M for a reason, but I think it's important to note that the mature content isn't just in the violence and sex, but there's also the old-fashioned vernacular with not-so-subtle racism and complex subject matter that comes up. I can honestly say that one of the most interesting things about Mafia 3 is the way it handles race. Now racism in games isn't new. Games tend to use fictional races as a parallel if they have a strong message they want to send. But for a more realistic approach, games will usually just have NPCs shout racial slurs at everyone, which is just a cheap way to make the setting seem authentic. Mafia 3 can be like this at times, but what I think is more interesting is how it attempts to make you aware of race in gameplay. You see, the main character, Lincoln Clay, is actually biracial. His mother is black, and even though he's never met his father, he is assumed to be white. Still, the game makes it very clear early on that back in the 60s, it didn't matter who your parents were. If you looked black, you were treated black, along with any limitations a black person might have back then. For instance, cops in Mafia 3 are a lot harder to get rid of. How you act around cops have bigger consequences than most games like this. Also, you'll quickly find out that many restaurants and other places of businesses are still segregated. The owners will try to kick you out, and if Lincoln stays there too long, it can attract unwanted attention. I apologize. Get your ass out of here! Muffle. Niggas ain't welcome around here. And stay out! Definitely an unconventional way to put race in the game, but I'm more impressed when a game can incorporate their themes into the gameplay and not just the dialogue, so I appreciate the effort. Mafia 3 is a fun open world game that tries to explore the racial tension in our nation's history in a meaningful way. Maybe not the most accurate, but a better attempt than most video games. The gameplay is fun and the auto aim is helpful, but and disabled gamers will have a lot of trouble playing this game without the PS4 accessibility options. If you don't play this game on the PlayStation 4, I highly recommend playing it on PC. It might be the only way you can actually play it. Well guys, I really appreciate you watching, and I will see you later.